This is Robert and our channel is called Healthy Kidney Inc. Where we provide information to help you support good kidney health. And today's video is about olives and olive oil and kidney disease. And we're going to talk about how you can include olives in your diet and how they're almost a borderline superfood for kidney health even though it's on everybody's list to avoid it. We're gonna talk about why it's beneficial, why it's helpful, and why it's good for you. And if you're not a subscriber to our channel, love to see the subscribers, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't, like and comment later on the video. And we're gonna talk about olive oil. So olive oil, the cooking oil, okay? Very universal cooking oil, you can find it everywhere. A lot of studies on olive oil and kidney disease and all of them show a benefit. So I'm gonna quote uh, one here. This is from the Nutrients 2021 February Journal. Usefulness of extra virgin olive oil, uh, minor polar compounds in the management of chronic kidney disease. And there is a lot of research, tons of research on olive oil and it's even better if you can get a high quality extra virgin olive oil. A lot of high quality brands out there, just one of them is Bragg's, makes a very good extra virgin olive oil and extra virgin olive oil that means it hasn't been refined it's not just regular olive oil it's olive oil without the refinement not going through a process that changes the compounds it allows it to take a higher heat now extra virgin olive oil um, in this study they use about an ounce per day and show that it helped people with kidney disease and and you should include it in your diet you should have it more in your salad dressings Okay, and getting an ounce a day is only three tablespoons, so it's not a lot. You can do some cooking with it. You don't wanna do very high heat cooking with extra virgin olive oil because you're gonna break it down and denature it and um, kind of negate some of the health properties even though it's still showing beneficial properties even with cooking, but you wanna try to limit the high heat cooking with it. So that's like really uh, deep frying, uh, anything extremely high heat, really high barbecues, anything like that. But extra virgin olive oil you can drizzle it over foods after they're done cooking you can bake with it you can use it in your salads uh, you can always drizzle it over other foods if you're on a kidney diet a lot of times people find that they lose weight because now they're restricting calories and they some people get to a point where they don't want to lose weight so in that case we look to add healthier oils to their diet it's not protein it's not a carb it's not going to uh, have a negative impact on your blood sugar so extra virgin olive oil a great great kidney friendly food that is so healthy for you so if you're not start adding that into your diet start replacing some of those other oils the canola oil or other vegetable oils with that evoo extra virgin olive oil okay let's talk about olives on everybody's kidney list out there avoid olives and how come they're on everybody's list to avoid it's because they're almost always always extremely high in salt and sodium always really high but if you look at an olive without the salt and sodium you're going to find that it's low potassium it's low phosphorus it's low protein it's monounsaturated fats uh, has a little fiber in it has some so a little bit of vitamins minerals and so in essence it doesn't raise blood sugar it's good for heart health uh, it's not going to have any impact on potassium levels if you're worried about that. It's not going to have an impact on phosphorus levels. So it's almost a superfood, except for the salt. So here's how you get around it. So the brand that I use, and the one that I recommend often, is by Pearls. Okay, so this is uh, just a printout online. That's Pearls. And you can see that it's already a reduced sodium, low sodium olive. So four of these olives has about 70 milligrams of sodium. And that's really so small compared to all the other ones out there. So even if you wanted to do eight olives, you get 140 milligrams of sodium per eight olives. And there's things that you can do to even get that sodium content lower. So if you don't have access to these pearl ones, look at your supermarket, go through everything you can, wherever they sell olives to find the lowest sodium ones. So now you got your low sodium olives and you wanna get them even lower. So you got two options now, soaking and blanching. Soaking, so you take the olives, you just put them in a pot of water, and you change the water every hour, every couple hours. And you can do this uh, eight hours, some people even do it overnight, and that really reduces the sodium content. The other way is called blanching. All right, now blanching is where you use, you boil water, okay, get it boiling, uh, you have a strainer, put your olives in there, drop it into that boiling water for, for one to two minutes, not long. And then right after that, you put it into cold water, 
all right, so that it uh, drops the temperature down. That actually reduces the sodium a lot. And the trick is don't leave it in that boiling water too long or else you're gonna get uh, mushy olives. And nobody wants to be eating mushy olives. So boil the water, dip them olives in one to two minutes, take them out, cold water, and you have either of those two techniques to lower potassium. So extra virgin olive oil, get it in your diet. Olives, really good, really healthy, so many benefits. They don't raise blood sugar, great for diabetics, can help you feel full, feel, uh, feel you know, not hungry. So uh, just get the lowest sodium olives, use one or two of those techniques if you wanna reduce the sodium even further. So olives, extra virgin olive oil, to your best kidney health, everybody. Like, subscribe, and check out our other videos and our website of what we have to offer. Bye.